Many people remember how George Bailey's friends and family gathered at the end of the classic, classic holiday film, It's a Wonderful Life. But what happens over the holidays when memory disorders like Alzheimer's or dementia cast a shadow over your loved ones? Here with a helping hand on how to create timeless holiday experiences in the face of memory loss is Larry Carlson, author of A Vandal Reimagining the Dementia Experience. Hi, Larry. Hey, thanks for having me today. Yeah, I'm excited to chat with you about this topic. Sure. You talk about reimagining dementia and Alzheimer's. What does yeah. that mean? So it really means normalizing life for people who have a dementia diagnosis, and not only just for them, but for their caregivers and families as well. Okay, good to know. And let's get into your suggestions. What are holiday-themed activities that el that we can yeah. do with elders and those suffering from so dementia? There are a lot of things that uh, the whole family can come around and, mm -hmm. and uh, allow someone to be successful and, and enjoy the holidays. So the first is watching that movie, that classic movie, uh, Miracle on 34th Street or A Christmas Carol, because you know people with Alzheimer's typically have a better connection to longer-term memory than short-term. Mm -hmm. And so uh, th it will rekindle some uh, memory. So gather the whole family around the, the TV, make some popcorn, and uh, <laughs> have, have an evening of it. I like that. Any other activities we can do? Sure. Well, like, like the movies, classic music. Yeah. Uh, you know, music makes those connections to those memories as well. Definitely. And so, uh, you know, while they uh, might not be able to remember what they had for breakfast, mm -hmm. they probably are going to be able to sing all the lyrics to Silent Night and oh. have a holly jolly Christmas. So have a family karaoke time. I love that. Yeah. What else? What else can we do? So. Um, <laughs> How about crafts? I mean, crafts are fun, mm -hmm. and so um, and it allows a person to uh, express their inner self yeah. and uh, their inner cre creativity. And so, uh, make some uh, ornaments, some uh, wreaths, some lanterns, and then when you're done, the whole family can go around and uh, decorate the tree or, or yeah. in enjoy that together. Yeah, that's beautiful. And how can we prepare children and let's say younger family members for these yeah. family interactions? Yeah, so you know, this is not about um, having the perfect holiday. Mm -hmm. um, and so um, it's all about you know having this person be engaged in the holidays, the whole family coming together and um, doing things that the person be, be successful at. So yeah. you know my advice is um, keep the uh, mood light, mm -hmm. uh, find humor, mm -hmm. and enjoy the day. Yeah, I like that a lot. And tell us a little bit about your book yeah. as well tied to this. So um, as, as United Methodist Communities, where I was the CEO, mm -hmm. uh, sort of was reinventing you know, how they wanted to reposition memory care, uh, we, we got into this whole notion of normalizing life because it's yeah. not normal to live with 25 or 40 people. Mm -hmm. And so the Dementia Village, which is the whole concept of Avondale, mm -hmm. um, is going to be 15 seven-bedroom houses all in a secure environment where people can experience the natural daily rhythm of life for what's right for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they get up in the morning and, and plan their day. They go, maybe go to the barn and see the animals, mm -hmm. go to the grocery store, come back and cook a meal, go to a club in the afternoon, mm -hmm. um, and just uh, experience life on their own terms. Yeah, why was this uh, topic uh, so intriguing to you? I mean, writing a book about it, was it something that you personally experienced? So, I mean, it was really as UMC, uh, you know, went through the journey of, of as I said, reinventing it, mm -hmm. um, it was sort of the next logical step as to, you know, because our typical memory support residents do have 23 or 25 people living in them. So it's like, how do we take it to the next level? Right. And so um, my wife and I uh, visited Amsterdam where we saw a, a model of care called the Hoikave. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, we need to bring it to the United States. And so that's what we've done. And the book is about the UMC's journey to uh, make that happen. Oh, wow. I think that's great. And I think it's so timely that you share with us how we can spend the holidays with our loved ones who may be dealing with dementia or Al Alzheimer's. Thank you so much, yeah. Larry. Hey, thank you so much. Yeah, happy to have you on. I'm going to let our viewers know where they can go for more information. For more great insights, check out Larry's book, Avondale Rima Giving the Dementia Experience.